I don't know what it is about old ice cream parlor places, but they just brought, they just bring back fond memories of my childhood. That's, that's all I gotta say. There, this is an amazing little establishment. Would you look at that? This little establishment isn't the reason I stopped here. Main reason was there was a gas station here and they had coffee. I am in the middle of nowhere, Virginia, on some old dinky highway through the hills. Not an interstate system, just a dinky little highway. Looking for some coffee, found it, found this cool thing, but this isn't all I found. Now there's a piece of property over here that says no trespassing. And uh, yep, I I'm gonna trespass because the building that sits on this property just looks cool. It reminds me, uh, Bob and Debbie at Blue Wave Odyssey stopped at Woodstock and sent me this amazing t-shirt, this amazing Woodstock t-shirt from Woodstock. This building kind of gives me some Woodstock vibes. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this old building looks like they used to have a rainbow on it. Well, the rainbow's still there, but back in the day, it probably looked pretty cool. Now, this it looks like a really small building here, but from the road, it's massive. I don't know if it was an old hotel or what it was, but it is sweet. Entrances, all the windows on the front here do say no trespassing, keep out. So, I'm not going to go inside. I mean, I would. But there's houses right across the street. If somebody's home and sees us go in there, we could get into some trouble. So definitely gonna respect the signs right now. Did you look at that? It looks like a maybe it was a garage with an apartment upstairs or a house upstairs. Looks really cool. And then right beside it is the normal house. And that is some creep factor right there. I don't know if private property means stay off the property or just stay out of the building. Definitely not gonna inside the building, but this looks like something that could be in a Rob Zombie horror flick, no doubt. So you get the little hippie goodness on the side, a little bit of horror goodness up front. You get the best of both worlds. Just this shot right here during dusk would be amazing. Hey, you know what? With Photoshop, I could probably make it nighttime. Let me break out my other camera. This is just really cool. I would love to go inside a place like that, but I don't even know if it has a floor. I'm sure it says no trespassing due to the fact that, uh, well, it's probably dangerous to go inside, but it's pretty sweet. Uh oh, a car. Since it wasn't a car, it was a cow. I seen something in the background moving. I, I could have sworn it was a car. <sighs> Steph stuck in a truck walked around the entire property. I would love to go inside and check this place out. But, uh,. For safety reasons, not going to do it. Not going to do it. stop in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, Steph stuck in a truck, has been craving, craving a Piggly Wiggly t-shirt. So she ran inside real fast to grab herself a Piggly Wiggly t-shirt. Ow, you stay. I'm giving your food away. I'm giving her food away and I don't think she's happy about it. But uh, she went in to get herself a Piggly Wiggly t-shirt and I am going to give my cats or some of my cat food away. Let's do it. Let's do this. Hello, kitty. We're gonna go drop this in uh, Cat Town. What do you? What? Do you, what? Hey, just wait. Uh, and you wait. Look at you. Look at you on that tire. Let's give you guys some food. Let's give you guys some food. Oh, I got this whole Cat Town over here, and they are out pretty much. No, 
food. That's uh, a little in here, a little in here. Ooh, some up here. Maybe some in here. Yeah, there you go. They should be happy. You guys over there just chillaxing. Got some over here chillaxing. Got you under there. Hello. Oh, well, I don't want to scare you. How about you? All right. You want to come be? No, you're scared too. Well, you got food over there, so you guys go enjoy. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but uh, once I put that foot out there, two of the cats jumped up and they're chowing away. There must be, oh, there's another one over there in the corner. She's getting ready to walk over. There must be about 30 cats out here that live in this little town, in this cat village. And uh, it's up to people like me to make sure they're fed. And, and some of the locals around here, they, they make sure they got food too. It's really strange to come by here and see them without any food like today. That the cats are all fed in the neighborhood. It's time for Steph stuck on a truck and myself to eat a little bit. So we came across the street from the pig, Lee Wigley, and they have a, um, a little Asian hibachi grill place. And so I went ahead and figured we did such a great job and a kind, we're kind. And uh, fed some cats, small cats, and uh, figured I would treat myself to, this is lo mein. Got some steak, steak, beef lo mein, beef. Should've give the cats this. <laughs> and your food is still not here, so we gotta wait. Oh, here, you're, here, here comes yours. Thank you so much, Ooh, yeah, That looks good. Uh, Wait for this, guys. Thank you. But you guys, look at stuff stuck in our trucks. Food. What is that? That's chicken. I got uh, hibachi chicken and steak uh, with regular probably jasmine rice because the fried rice had um, soy sauce on it that has gluten in it. Look at those vegetables. So I got the deliciousness here, and she's gonna bring me some spicy stuff. Yum. Yummy is correct. Due to the fact that Steph stuck in a truck has a stomach the size of a walnut, she never eats all of her food. She'll, her, her eyes are so much bigger than her tummy. So she's always stuck carrying, bringing goodie bags or the doggy bags home. And, and if any of you guys know me, those of you that go out to, a lot of you go out to, have been out to eat with me and stuff like that. And you guys always try and bring doggy bags. Just leave the food at the table. I just, I, I never bring home doggy bags. Well, the thing is, is first of all, if I'm going to order enough food that's going to last me for two meals, I'm going to eat two meals worth of food. I don't know where you come from, but where I come from, that stuff costs money and I want to eat it. I don't want to just give it away, throw it away. I mean, if I was going to give it to someone homeless or someone who needed a, you know, a meal, then that's one thing. But I'm not just going to throw it away. I liked it. I want to eat it again. Toss it. So Point Pleasant is a quaint little town. Right down the street down there is the Mothman statue. We're not going to go down there today. You guys have seen other videos that I've shot going into town, checking out the museum. I took Steph stuck in a truck there on her very first trip to get some photos and video of the Mothman. So today we're going to bypass the Mothman statue, bypass the flood wall and all the artwork that's on it because, like I said, you've seen it in my videos and you have seen it in Steph's videos. Today... We have about 30 more minutes to kill before we have to get back down the road. So I figured, why not take her somewhere new in town? Now there's a historical park right down at the end of the street uh, that, that she's never been to. There's also a museum down there, the Riverboat Museum, that caught on fire back um, uh, about three years ago, four years ago, and still has not reopened. Wish they did, great place. So uh, at least you could see the outside of that. And then we'll take her over to a very famous site, something that has to do with President George Washington. Go back on my channel, you'll see when I did a walk through this amazing place and met the owners and actually two of the women that wrote the book about the Silver Bridge disaster. But uh, the fire looks like it tore up all the upstairs, it gutted the place out and I don't know. If it never comes back, at least I was able to document it. 
be kind of sad if it never came back. It's amazing. But directly across the street. Oh. Oh, I'm 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 doing your video for you. I get it. I'm I get cheating. It. I'm cheating. I'm letting you be my historian. You know what? <laughs> you 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 pronounce that word then. To Endiwe. To Endi Let's go to the state park. Oh my <laughs> god! And people say our videos okay. are identical. You the same? Now I understand why. <laughs> park has monuments after monuments after huge monuments. Uh, we're gonna go find out what a few of these are before we head back to the truck. And if you look off in the distance, that is the silver bridge that collapsed on a cold winter's night. Sign here. Livia Nye Simpson, born March 1st. That's when I was born. I was born March 1st, but not in 1862. I was 1965. So there's a few years between us. Uh, but she wrote for the State Gazette. And uh, in 1901, lobbied for the state to purchase Point Pleasant Battlefield for Congress to recognize this site as the first battle of the revolution. During World War I, organized Liberty Loan Drive, which was used nationally, she died 27th October, 1937. See, if I would have been born, if my birthday and hers would have coincided for the same year, I probably wouldn't be alive today. Yeah, probably definitely not. Do look at the size of that monument. That thing is ginormous. I mean, it's not like the mall in DC, ginormous, but uh, it's pretty massive. Let's go see what it says. Looks like maybe we can get Steph stuck in a truck to read it for us. I, I don't know. She's probably gonna be dumb by the time we get up here. It was a really, really big deal. Hey, <laughs> stop it. Okay. He's trying to steal. <laughs> stop it. The microphone's here, talk. You're not even recording. All right, so little does she know. This is okay. While she's doing that, uh, if you guys look around here, not only is the one she's reading, but there's more over here. Talk. This one here talks about uh, the Virginians wounded at the battle. That one out there, the Battle of Point Pleasant. And uh, I, it's too high up for me to read. Plus, there's a lot of words in that. A lot of words to read. <sighs> I'm not gonna do it. This entire town is protected by this massive flood wall that have these gates that open and close to stop the water from the Ohio River and whatever other river th that converges here with the Ohio. But when the water rises, these flood gates here protect the town. What is this? Ann Bailey Memorial. That's beautiful. Point Pleasant was named Gen General George Washington at the time he wasn't president he was he was a general he was general george washington he actually named the town of point pleasant west virginia and uh it's amazing it, I, well i guess it's not that amazing because all back in those days didn't everybody live in virginia and then kind of scatter out across the united states so i i guess i mean he was already here why not start naming some towns here's a little monument to chief cornstalk 1727 to 1777 i think i'm gonna say he was the one that did battle with them maybe i don't know they're down the river walk i don't know if you guys hit in between this building and the river walk down there there's some like metal statues and one of those is chief cornstalk i definitely should probably brush up on history before i try and tell you guys the history you know what started as a quick stop to get a piggly wiggly t-shirt by the way she got me a t-shirt too so i got a I, I got a piggly wiggly t-shirt also and we also got one for mansion mom it's gonna be nice we're gonna be part of the pig crew we're gonna create the the pork crew i don't know we'll name it something check this out so if i could stop my face mask from waving in front of the camera the liberty tree symbolic of the original boston mass dedicated to honor the colonial patriots And the tree is planted. This is going to be a liberty tree. The boat is pushing a couple large barges to the convergence of all the rivers. 
I don't know if it's going to travel underneath the old silver bridge, which lies right there. But what a beautiful, uh, this is a beautiful view right here. The only thing missing is a hiccup. Why did I hiccup? Let's start over. Rewind, rewind. The only thing missing is the Mothman. This is the old fort. I believe, and I could be wrong, I always, I often get my facts mixed up, that uh, General George Washington and others, I'm assuming, planned for battle and stayed, and I, I don't know, who knows what they did back then, I don't know. I wonder if there's a movie about Point Pleasant and the history of Point Pleasant and George Washington. I guess you can go in Monday through Saturday, 10 to 4. Sundays, 1 p.m. to 4.30. This is the Mansion House. The Mansion House was built in 1790 by Walter Newman for a tavern. It was the first Han Log house in the Kawani Valley and was made entirely by hand. Later, it was enlarged in 1901 by the Daughters of the American Revolution, aided by patriotic citizens. Boy, I guess I got the whole uh, George Washington thing here a little mi mixed up. That's me. That's me. Here is another monument. The magazine dedicated to those militiamen who were buried in the magazine and the surrounding battlefield in October, on October 11, 1774. Hmm. And what an awesome, beautiful monument with the backdrop of the river, with the tugboat pushing the barges right underneath the bridge. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We're still on our way to North Dakota. Figured I'd get one little quick video out there as we mosey on up north, northwest. And, uh, try and find some fun stuff to do while we're up there maybe some fargo filming locations that could be fun anyway thanks for tuning in i love you guys and i'll see you on the next one from point pleasant west virginia peace out everybody